Dino racing is often referred to as the Formula One of mountain biking. You know what Formula One ain't? Cheap. You ever Very tried true. to buy a Formula One car? No. Anyway, I can you ride an old cheap downhill bike hard and fast? Today we're going to find out with the presenter challenge. Ooh, nah. Blake, what bike have you got? Oh, Neil, oh. I've got an absolute, look at it. <laughs> kind of stinky deluxe. Doesn't look very deluxe. It no, is it deluxe, it's deluxuous. It's green, look at it, it's got a DMR sticker. I've got an oi oi saddle. So that's like, right now, this is like, it's the most up to date thing. part of the whole bike. It is, yeah. Monster tees, which I actually them. swapped it out for they had some junior tees, Mazzocchi on there. I actually swapped them because they were broken because the price I got it for was an absolute bargain. I got a Hope front hub. And I think that's a Mavic that's the best D3. Bit. Is that a Saint? Who that's a Saint Caliper. Talk about, oh, it is as well. Saint Caliper. I didn't even think of that. But I got a Sabre Tooth Tiger for sure. Rota. Look at that. Yeah. Stopping power is going to be not so good there. Richard, what you got? Well, Neil. Da, 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 da. Oh. Monster Tees again. The Mongoose Black Diamond, circa 2006. Monster Tees, two shock positions, Neil, ahead of its game, you might say. An Andrew Needing replica. It is indeed, yeah. You know what yeah. that bike is? It's a URT, which basically means it doesn't work. That's a rubbish turn. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> right, well, I'm stoked up. Fun stem, skeletal brakes. Skeletal? Uh, yes, skeletal, still a thing. Um, seat doesn't go any lower because it will hit the shock. <laughs> Otherwise, I think we're good to go. No, Let's that. Look at that. The tires. Black yeah. Diamond, right? Could you hit Black Diamond? No, we'll find out. Neil, what have you got? Oh, that whoa. is a Da Vinci Wilson. Ah, it's actually not. the most up to date of all of these. Boxers. It's got a boxer up front. It's got old Holy brakes. It's got Stevie Smith bars. Oh. Holy cups. Are they oh. cups? Are they, they cup forks? Way too wide because they're wider than the bike is long. <laughs> bars. This is actually a medium and it is, feels like a child's bike. Black box Stevie Smith bars. But I'm quite happy with that. No, yeah, yeah I just, I just don't wobble yeah. rear end. It's a bit floppy. You got a grease snip off for your. It hasn't been oh, used. Yeah. You've got a grease nipple. You, you seen get that? them on tractors, right? You've seen how it's been painted over. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> never <laughs> been used. <laughs> wow, what a, what a lineup of weapons we have. Incredible. All 26 inch wheels. 26 ain't dead. Today they aren't. All right, two terrible bikes and one that looks all right to me. Yeah. But it's yeah, time mine. to see what our first challenge is. Yeah. Here we go. Well, here he is. Big man. Big man with a big envelope. What have we got, Neil? It's shiny. Gold. Challenge number one the price. because all important, I guess. Yeah. Come on guys, let's be honest now, how much do you each spend on your bike? The cheapest and best value. That's that's, that's a different thing. Yeah. Right, yeah. Uh, well. Gets three points, but be careful, going too cheap could catch you out later, as for every mechanical throughout our day filming, you'll lose one point. Oh Lord. Oh, oh, that's oh no. That's we're actually... gonna puncture. Someone's gonna puncture. Yeah. Anyway, oh. Blake, how much does yours cost? <sighs> Mine cost 350 no. pounds. 350 quid, but I, it was cheap for an obvious reason because at a closer inspection, the front fork, the Mazzotti Junior Tees were cracked and I actually put my personal Monster Tees on that I bought in 2005. Pretty cheap, fair. Richard? Yeah. 500 big ones for this Whoa. this fine example of a downhill bike. Half a grand, you could get some. Half a grand, don't say it like that, that half sounds terrible. Grand. Half wow. a grand. Wow, Neil. 550. Ooh, oh, it's not more bad. More than half a grand. What have I done? I've changed the cranks, put some fresh grips on, ready to roll. I would like to say, I've done nothing to this. Oh, oh. This is... Doesn't look like it's been ridden very much, to be fair. It actually looks orange. I mean, why would you want to ride it? Yeah. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I, it's a play. Technically, technically you get the points. There we go. Rich, two, yes. three, I get two. one. Now the prices have been given. It's time for the next challenge. <laughs> oh, big man. Are we going to ride? Gold envelope time, let's see what we got. Number two, he's rather big, isn't he? Look at him. Challenge number two, whip off on A470 trail here at Bike Park Wales. Straight in, no warming up then? No, straight in, it by the looks of it. Free ride rig, man. Gonna Free get rider. Side, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Style points are just as important as going fast. No, not true. Yeah. It is true. <laughs> what about riding for 24 hour points? All right. No. <laughs> Each rider is going to have three goes of putting the best looking whip down the A470 trail. Three goes, no warm up, three goes. Three goes. Bike won't last that One long. One go for warm, two to try. All right. Yeah. The winner, however, the cameraman will be judging 
who gets the best sideways whip? Well, I'm going to swap out this for a full face. I would, because <laughs> that front end looks rather cheesy. You know, I've bribed one of the cameramen. He's got one of my e-bikes currently at the moment. So, you oh, know. Mine's no got brand. the other e-bike. No. So you're coming last. No, no. To the trail then. Right, we're here at the top. First impressions of your bike. We had to ride here. Dreadful. Oh, plush. Is it? I quite like mine. Yours? Mine feels good, except when you take off, all I can feel is a front wheel bearing. And <laughs> mine just goes bang through the travel. I have the very, I have such narrow bars. Feeling confident about whips? Got loads of space to move the bars. Yeah, watch this. All right. We've all put in two runs. <laughs> this is the final countdown of whips. How are you finding it? Uh, yeah. It's, all right. it's funny, it's crazy riding a weird bike, isn't it, Neil? Yeah, this bike feels pretty good so far, so um, yeah, I'm into it. Oh, okay. I feel all right. I've got really narrow bars. Ah, I feel good. Feels like we're doing what we did in the 90s and push up all the time. <laughs> and he sends. Oh, oh my god, the crowd go wild! Hey! Nailed it! What, what do you think, cameraman? Well, Judging! Right, cameraman, put us out of our misery. Who, uh, whose whip was winning? The winner is. <gasps> Blake. Three hey. points. Stinky. Stinky. Deluxe though. It's the official supplier to the Ma uh, Whistler Man Bike Park, that bike. In 2004? Yeah, probably, yeah. Second place for two points? It's Neil. Uh, I thought it might be. Well done, Don. I'll take that one point. I'm happy with well that. Well done, boys. Well done. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Right, we're back down at the cafe, and I think it's time for another challenge. Let's see what we've got. Big man, thank you. Okay. Da, 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 da. Challenge number three, desirability. Everyone wants their bikes to be cool. Your challenge is to ask people around the park to pick the coolest. Uh-oh. Let's go and find some punters. Eyeing up the bikes already. I can, I seen you checking out the three we've got here. Looking at those, yeah. If you had to pick one, Excuse Blake, out of the way, which would it be? The one with the red forks. Oh, that's the Da Vinci. Okay. Good choice, excellent choice. Right, I, I wouldn't have chosen that one personally, but thank you very much. Right, let's find someone else, thank you. Okay, let's go to this uh, table. Hey up gents, how are we doing? Yeah, very good, yeah. very good. Very good, right, desirability time. We've got our three retro downhill bikes lined up over here. <laughs> if you've got to choose one, what are you going for? Uh, I think the mongoose. I'd go with the mongoose as well. I'd go with the Kona. Hang on. Right, this round here. You. I've done mine. The mongoose with the box of forks. Oh, okay. Combo. Hang on. Yeah, I'll go with the mongoose as oh, well. Oh, Kona all the way. Oh, this guy's biased. And? Mongoose. Wow. Would you look at that? The mongoose. I didn't count. How many votes was that one? About four votes for the mongoose. Hello, guys. How are we doing? Okay, desirability time. Our three retro bikes over there. I'm not saying whose is who, but you've got to pick one which you think is the fast, fanciest. Kona. Okay, well, I'd definitely go for the mongoose. It's proper old school. Oh, mongoose. It's proper old school. Hang on, and? It's going to even you out because I like the one with the red triple clamps. Ah, that is an old Da Vinci. Okay, wow, the Da Vinci finally getting a vote there, but the mongoose still coming off pretty strong. Gents, the results are in. I've not counted, but I don't need to. The mongoose won. <laughs> And I'm not even voting for the mongoose and it's mine. Ah, uh, how is that possible? Look how ugly it looks. So it's three points to the mongoose, the arguably the most horrendous bike here. T 
Two points to the Kona. That's yours, Blake. Dude, I'm afraid. What I mean, come on. <laughs> People are just wrong. <laughs> right. All right. There we go. People are wrong. You're all wrong, people. Sorry. <laughs> Mongoose, I got three points. Lovely. I feel another challenge coming on. Yes, indeed. Where's big man? There he is. Ah! He is the gold envelope is back. So this is challenge number four. Oh, handle the whoops. Whoops. Super whoops. cross. Supercross, time to what test whoops? your bike's suspension. We're going to film some slow mos of you hitting the Moto Whoops on Vanta line. Oh, I thought we said Anaheim. Yeah, uh, A1. No, the bike that stays the stillest over the Whoops stillest. wins the point. Survives, more like. <laughs> okay. Good luck. Yeah, good luck, everyone. Okay, well, to the Whoops. To I, the whoops. I think faster might be better, you know. Oh my gosh, this thing's horrible. Whoa, I hit recording job, you can't ignore it. I'm transforming now these cars and planes, I'm always boarding. Just out touring down in Charlotte like I play for Hornets. When I'm performing, never boring, now you can't afford it. Champagne Perrier. Right, so we've reviewed the footage and um I looked really horrible. Short <laughs> wheelbase, the crap geometry. Yeah. Steep head angle. It's right, super it steep, difference. yeah. But I feel like it's between you guys. And I, th I think it went... I think it went to Neil, just... It went to Neil. Yeah. I've got the advantage of, I reckon, two or three more years on there. So the angles on this bike are pretty good. It feels actually really good. It's small. It looks good going yeah. through. I'm enjoying it. That is still quite steep. And your URT rear end, so yeah. the back end doesn't move that well. I'm just pleased to get through it. So <laughs> congrats. Well, Andrew Neathan did get a top 10 at a World Cup on it's that very, very much. True, he did. Very true. Well, so, congratulations, Neil. Three. The dream. Dos uno. Unos. <sighs> Next challenge. Challenge five then. Challenge five, where is big man? Big man? Huh? Neil? Neil. He is big, isn't he? Whoa. Big man. He's a tall guy. Can you, get, can you eat it? <laughs> cool, what have we got, got, Neil? Challenge uh, number five is, right, fastest Daniel bike through the rough stuff. We're gonna put your bikes, as well as your nerves, again, to the test, see who has the highest speed through a rock garden. Rock garden, you love rock this gardens, This feels Neil. more dangerous <laughs> than riding the <laughs> Rocks, right, right, let's rocks. go find Rimdinger, maybe? Rimdinger, dinger, dinger. Go, he's big, a big man, isn't he? A big man's a big man. Oh, that's two of us, Neil. That's, yeah, but you're a little man. True. Rimdinger sounds not very inviting, does it? No. no. But we've got a speed gun, and we're going to go as fast as we can down here. Officer Samson on duty. I am Officer Samson, and if you do not go fast enough, you're gonna buy lunch. You don't you know go what? fast enough. No, it's Fast's all about the speed on this one. Fastest one wins. You know, this is not the modern era, these bikes. I was gonna say, I lost so many races in the late 2000s. Due to punctures, that's gonna be our problem. We're all running tubes. No tubes, tubes here. Yeah. 26 inch tubes. Tube. Right, there's a fast section just down there. I'm gonna stand there. See how the Neil's gonna drop, Rich, you're gonna drop, and I'll drop last. Send it. Ready? Do it. Open in. Okay, now it is between the two races at the top. Neil and Rich have raced. Neil's done downhill. We all know that. Rich has done enduro. I am a free racer, but I'm going to give it my absolute helpful leather. So let's see who's coming. Predict it. 42, 43. It's all because of that drop. If you are able to send that drop, you're in for a win. Forty-three. I'll take that on this thing all day long. I think me and Blake will be pretty tight. I reckon. I reckon that bike isn't going to be as fast. The angle is, this? is rough. I don't feel like that bike's going to be that good at plowing over rough stuff fast. True. But Blake has momentum on his side, should we say? He's very. He's quite a dense human being. I shan't add anything to that. Ew. 44, 43, 44, 45, 44. 45's my limit. Here he comes, look at him pedaling, look at him. 
Yeah. Nah, he doesn't look as. Oh, nah. Nah. 46. 46? Yeah. By 1k? Ah, yeah. oh, nil! <laughs> Done by one! 46. I got 45. 46. 43. 43. Oh, that's good! Some pace still, isn't it? That is pacey. That's some pace down there still. Feels fast, doesn't it? Yeah. It feels so on the limit, like it's so on the edge. That like, feels like downhill properly, like yeah. ball man. Yeah. That there's that right little right hander. Yeah. That's oh, the just one like where you the, glances just up, towards the tree. Yeah. And you're like that. You can see your like elbows in. I tried, I was looking at the slab gap so you can straighten yeah. it. Yeah. So the results are in. The Don. 46k an hour. The Samson, 45k an hour. The Poon, 43. So oh. three points, two points, uno. Nice! Uh, my skeletal brakes don't slow down that good, I'll be honest. My Shimano Dior's is not <laughs> with Saint Ruud, Saint enduring very well. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's the last challenge time. Where's Big Man? It's big not man. hard to find. There he is, fapping size of him. How Oof, big he is? He's massive. so big. Fapping size of him. <laughs> anyway, of this him. is the last challenge, everyone. <laughs> yeah, uh -oh. that one is a serious one. It says serious. It's Whoa. a downhill race. Ooh. Getting serious, going fast on a full run is ultimately what these bikes are built for. Obviously, Arguably, for that's down. more of a free ride bike, if I'm honest. Free racer. It's got bottle cage, mate. So that sort of says it's not a downhill bike. Okay, but, hey, <laughs> all right. You know. So we're going to be racing down 50 shades of black right there not gray nice. the bike park wales has a timed run fastest one wins but there's a lot more to fight for on this challenge okay double points is up Whoa. for grabs double points double points so that's six for first gone four for second nailed it and two <laughs> oh it's the full house he's done it <laughs> ah, yeah, quick man. right then to the start we're at the start <laughs> Three, two, one, go! Oh, I don't slip. Oh, I'm off.
Right, the times, I've checked the GoPros. Uh, Blake, you sat off first. You went straight into the hot seat. Yes. 4.02. Nice one. Uh, nice one. Until Rich came down, he did 3.59. Oh. Uh, Changed you up by three seconds. Sorry, and then man. Neil, that's me. That's you. He came <laughs> yes. down uh, 3.27. Oh my God. Close sight, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I got two points. Quick maths. No. Yeah. Yes, correct. I two, got four. four. Double points. It's not double points. And you got, got six. six points. So what is the points in the overall then? I do not know. <gasps> big man. How did you oh. reach him? You shrunk. <laughs> so, actually big. Neil's growing. Really quick maths, sir. So the final points. Oh. I mean, really, these points go to the bikes, not to us. That's true. It's very true. Yeah. It's all about the bike. So in joint second place, <laughs> or should we say joint last? Uh, Blake and Rich with 30. Yeah, nice. The win in the race gives me 16 points and take the win. What, wow, so what did we? Well what did points did we get? Uh, 13 each. Unlucky oh, for unlucky some. Unlucky for some. Lucky for me. The question it's been... is the bikes. Uh, I've really enjoyed riding this. The real question is, would you take that bike home and ride it? Richard? No, not in a million years. It was horrendous. It was it was a rough ride. I think but, that does it predated. Yeah, it's, it was funny. Blake? Yeah, ugly, that thing. All uh, right. Me, I would take this Most home. Desirable. I'd take this home for sure. <sighs> Neil? I would definitely. I think a couple of simple upgrades. This bike would be well good. The mm. brakes are good. Everything works. It's a bit rattly. But yeah, I've really enjoyed riding it. Actually, I'm going to do a backup video where we talk about these bikes, how much they cost us, how, if we didn't have to do any work to them. So can you buy a good downhill bike for less than £500? I'll follow up. All right, boys, that's it then. We're done for the day. Neil, congratulations. You blitzed us. Thank you very much. Neil. Yeah, nice. Do you know what, if you enjoyed that, thank you very much for watching. Give us a little like down below. They can subscribe. Don't forget Neil's follow-up video as well. But we've still got a bit of track to rattle down and then we're off out of here. Thank you very much from all of us and we'll catch you next time. See ya. See ya. Blake, Amazon bike or Kona Stinky oh, Dark? Oh, Amazon good Kona. question. Not a million years Amazon Kona all the way. 100%. <laughs>